In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve advanced creative slider layouts using unlimited elements. We're going to add a slider, a carousel, remote arrows and remote bullets and connect everything together four different widgets to create one amazing slider. Let's get started. To get started with my layout, I'm going to click on the plus button over here, and then I'm going to choose one third and two thirds. In the widgets pane, I'm going to search for content slider and I will add the slider to the right column. Awesome, so the slider has been added and now we're going to leave only the image. So to do that, I'm going into layout and I'm going to turn off the dots and the arrows because later on we're going to add different arrows and dots as you saw in the example at the beginning of the video. Over here, inside of items, I'm going into each item and instead of content source content, I'm going to change that to none. So we need to do this for all four images until we're set up and that's it. Okay, so we have four transitioning images over here on the right side. Inside of style, I'm going to push up the height to 70 VH. That means like 70% of the height of the viewport. Now, in, over here in the section settings, I'm going to change this to full width. Now, as you can see, now I see the next image, which is kind of a glitch. And that happens just because we're inside of the editor. And to fix that, we can just toggle on or off any of these options and that will refresh the image or the slider. Now on the left side, what I'm going to be using is the content carousel. So I'm using a content slider and a content carousel. Let's drag that inside over here and I'm going to leave only one item. And again, I'm going to jump into layout and instead of uh, what we did earlier, we took off the content and left only the image, we're going to do the opposite thing over here. So I'm going to turn off the image, the arrows and the dots, and I'm left with the content. Awesome. In the general settings, I'm going to align my content to the left. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually make that overlap offset effect where this box goes on top of the slider over here from the right side. So let's go into the settings, advanced, and in margin, I'm going to add a negative value on the right side. I'm going to go for 150 pixels. And to refresh the widget, again, we need to refresh the widget because these are carousels and sliders, which the width is calculated by JavaScript. So we need to give it a command to refresh itself. So I'm just going to toggle on or off something over here. And now, as you can see, the carousel is going under my slider. So to fix that or to adjust that, I'm going back into the advanced settings and I'm going to change the Z index to two. Now it's on top of the slider, which is awesome. Let's go into the column settings and in vertical align, I'm going to change this to middle. Let's go back into the settings of the widget and in style, I'm going to add some padding over here. So let's go for 70 pixels, just so we have a nice overlap over here and a lot of spacing. And I'm going to change the color to white so it blends in better. Next thing I think I'm going to do is just style this a little bit. So in the title, let's push up the size of the title. Of course, you can change the typography. Actually, let's choose something different. So we have a little bit of contrast. This is called typography contrast. 
And for the button, I'll just do a black background, no radius, push up the spacing, and the text color I'm going to change to white. So we're set up with that. So really nice Scandinavian, clean, minimalistic look. And now what we need to do is two things. We want to sync between the slider and the carousel. So I'm going into the slider settings. And before I'll do that, I'll just push down the height a little bit because I think we added too much height over there. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, awesome. So the next part is to sync between these two. So I'm gonna click on the slider, go into content, connect widgets, and over here, I'm going to enable remote and sync. So what I eventually want to achieve is that these two are synced together. So I did that for the first widget, and now I'm going to do that for the second widget. So connect, enable, and sync. And now these two should be synced together. Not always will you see this in the back end, uh, but as you can see, it's already synced together. So right now when the right side will transition, the left side will transition with it. And now what I want to do is add some navigation arrows. So I'm going into the widgets pane. I'm going to search for arrows or remote arrows. That's the exact name of the widget. And I'm going to change the button gap to one or two maybe. And in style, what I'll do is I'll change the button radius to zero and button background to black, take off the border, and in button icon, I'm going to change that to white. So now we have some very cool, sleek, minimalistic, Scandinavian design arrows over here. For the next part, what I think I'm going to do is add some bullets for navigation as well, exactly like we've done with the arrows. So let's search for remote bullets, drag that inside. And as you can see, it's already synced together. Now, if you feel that the autoplay is annoying and you want users to only navigate manually, you can just go into the slider and turn off autoplay. So let's do that. So it won't be jumping in for us. And over here with the bullets, what I think I'll do is actually I'll align it over here to the right. So in justify, let's go for end. And let's make a cooler kind of effect over here. I've seen this on many websites. So for the active width, I'm going for 30 pixels. So that just like looks kind of liquidy and nice. And you can achieve any kind of design with this. You can even add numbers. If you over here, you turn on show counter, that will add some numbers over here, which is pretty awesome. So I think everything is connected and synced and looking nice. Let's click update and preview this in the live website and see that everything's working as we expect it to. So very awesome slider. Let's transition over here. <laughs> so cool. You can even drag or like that. You can use the bullets and you can use the arrows. So awesome stuff. Another thing you can do is change the animation. So let's change the animation to fade in. I think it's fade in, fade in right. And maybe fade out left. Something like that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, super cool. Let's click update and preview the page. And now you can see that it's sort of kind of a sleeker kind of look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.